Welcome back to another episode of the Blandcast. Today, we'll be improvising. Blap, blap. That's like the scat. Do you guys know what scatting is? Skating? Scat. Scatting? You guys heard of that? It's like in jazz when the people are like, scat, blap, blap, blap. blap. What is that? I, I, I didn't play an instrument, so I don't know what that it's, is. It's singing. It's just people. It's like singing, but without lyrics. Is it like a warm up? No, it's in the songs. Oh. And okay. it's like improv, so that's why I did it. Welcome uh, to the Blindcast, guys. Uh, um, <laughs> great man. intro. We got a lot of people, I bet, with the scatting. Because I know we looked at the um, the statistics. A lot of people are big scatting fans. They listen to a lot of other scatting podcasts. It's amazing how we can track that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Especially because there no, there's no scatting podcast out there. Or people interested in it. Well, don't say that. Is scatting like similar to beatboxing? Um, you know, maybe maybe beatboxing came from scatting because scatting is from like the nineteen thirties. But honestly, I think that's probably like that's a good connection. I feel um, like scatting is just making a bunch of weird sounds. Like yeah, it's like just you know. Make the noises that you feel, Louis. Scat for me. I me talking is scatting. <laughs> Just don't think about it beforehand. Yeah. Wait, Benson. I need to hear your scat. Your oh, your go to stat scat. My go to scat. Yeah. yeah. More like an an oink sound <laughs> or a moo. Oh my god. It's a good scat. It's a very good scat. Isn't existing as humans just making random noises? Well, what is random? What is noises? What is anything? And then you know, we thought we were doing a philosophy episode again, but yeah, no, it's improv. You know what's oh. crazy? What's up? The brain named itself the brain. No. 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 I'm reading this book. <laughs> called phenomenology okay you're like i don't know how well i'm gonna explain this but just bear with me so phenomenology is like the study of the experience of experiences okay so it's like how humans um how humans like interact with objects and how they like how objects appear to us and whether like we have um power over their existence or they have power over our existence or whether they exist within our brains as well as in the you know body you know what i mean it's it's like the most confusing thing ever but uh i forgot where i'm at you were explaining phenomenology yeah, yeah, but then before that, I forgot the connection I was going to make. Oh, oh. That, that's uh, made an oink sound? Oh, uh... <laughs> I think I said the brain named itself oh, the brain. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I can't make the connection. It's too confusing. When you read stuff like that, I don't read stuff like this often, but when you do, it's like, I can't make sense of things. Do you just, like, dream at night of, like, the thought of thoughts thinking? Because you're reading these books and stuff. You know, I, the other night, and this is a true story, I dreamed that I was reading a book. Wow. What a lame dream. Yeah, that's I mean, very literally, boring. Like, I, I remember the book was pretty good, um, but I don't remember <laughs> what it was about. Like, I think somebody, I don't even want to say it, but some crazy stuff happened. Some you know what's a crazy thing. thing about dreaming? I don't know if this is true, but... Apparently, one side of your brain knows what knows what's going on during dream, but the other doesn't. Wait, what? Because when you dream, right, you don't know what's going to happen. 
but well one part of your brain knows what the dream is going to be like but the other part of the brain is finding out as the dream goes along mm. yeah yeah your brain is actually two brains working together because the left and right are like especially from emotions standpoint are like completely separate and they can con- and they control different things interesting yeah pretty well pretty dreaming weird. is just like uh it's just like going to the beach elaborate yeah. on that um i was hoping you wouldn't ask that i just kind of said it oh okay do you want me to elaborate dreaming is like one? getting a roast beef sandwich elaborate please um you know when you get a roast beef sandwich and you're like what is this anyway um yeah i do know that I, that's, that is exactly what i feel when i get a roast beef sandwich i'm like wow i could be having a better sandwich right now like what is this? the last time i had roof roast beef sandwich oh wait no i actually like roast beef i was thinking of something else roast beef is but, sick yeah what one time think, or what was the one one time i had roast beef sandwich and my stomach felt really bad afterwards so, no more no no more roast beef I for Benson. Yeah, i once a, had uh i once had a nice chipotle burrito and uh lord knows how that went oh i remember that yeah that was crazy was Back it? when E. coli was a thing. I yeah. mean, it's still a thing. It's not like it's just gone. But back when it was, you know, prevalent in Chipotle, that was the worst experience of my life. Did you get E. coli? Yeah. I mean, I was just, and I'm not going to edit this episode. Like, I'll put the the intro music and the outro music. But just letting you know, graphic content coming up. So no bleep. Cover your kids' ears. I was puking out the wazoo. I mean, it was just like the worst. Like, it was, Chipotle is fine. I prefer Tango Mango for those that know yeah, Tango definitely. Mango. Los Amigos. Chipotle, I have to say, it was really good until the incident. And now I can only look at it in a bad way. So I don't know. Was it just a bad case of the puke skis? It was a puke. Apocalypse, puke apocalypse, puke apocalypse. Jesus, what was the uh, ballparks over under for pukes a day average? Uh, where seven. are we doing? Yeah, somewhere around seven. Were you watching uh, me then, Ben? So how'd you know? I was. I was actually the one who served you the Chipotle, and then I followed oh, you thanks, to your man. car. And yeah. yeah, I was the one watching you in the bathroom throw up. It was actually eight point five. Got yeah point five yeah well per day so what's your favorite decimal just a little off topic favorite decimal 100.00 or 1.0 it's a good one i think it's cool point zero is sick it's like more professional than just a like yeah. a one so one point zero I like a like a repeating decimal because then I know that I'm right in like a math pro- or any any decimal that I think could be the right answer in a math problem. Like if I get like a point five on like a complicated problem, I'm like yes. You know what oh I mean? God. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I like um. It's hard to be point seven three off of any number. Point seven three is good. Point seven three. You're a point, point seven. Three. Why am I surprised that you're a point seven three guy? <laughs> why? Why? Sponsored. Am... Sponsored by point seven two. Yeah, exactly. This episode was sponsored by point seven two. So, uh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. It's it's too bad that the point uh, seven two capital really isn't too large. No, it is not. Yeah. it really isn't. Yeah. Um, but speaking of sponsors. We should get on that. Can we? Who can we get to sponsor us? We're, we're sponsored by Anchor. Oh, we are. Yeah. Oh. Quick plug. Yeah. Or uh, yeah, you want? Uh, do we do mid episode? Mid episode. Mid ep plug. Yeah. If I can, I'll put an ad right here. Right here. Or maybe we already played it. But, uh, <laughs> Remember what Daniel said about not editing this episode. Yeah, I'm not editing this. But <laughs> <laughs> if maybe Louis it drops it like. Uh, a moral statement. Yeah, I, I'll, I, I will. I will put you in the position where you have to edit this episode. Thanks, Louis. Yeah. Um, what's the deal with the Celtics? Honestly, we're probably gonna win. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Benson knows what, what I'm about to say. 
Well, I, I don't. It is my number one pet peeve when people refer to professional oh, sports we? teams as we. You're not on the Celtics. You're not as well, only on the all. Me, I'm just saying that. You're like I'm. You're like I'm pretty. I was pretty good in sixth grade NAA. I don't know. I was pretty good in sixth grade. <laughs> not, to, not to bring that up, but yeah. I think you can say there. we, because you're Ooh. a part of the fan base. I'm a part of the organization, Louis. Green runs deep. Yeah. yeah gr- 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 they they do. Yes, they do. See us rise, Louis. Jeez. See us rise. You're not on the Celtics. Okay. So <laughs> here's the problem I have with it. If you didn't watch the game or do anything, like was there a game? in the four game series that you didn't watch. Yeah. Okay. So, and did that affect the outcome of the game? Um, seeing that we swept them, I would say, uh, this is a loaded question. Possibly. Yeah. No, no. The answer is no. <laughs> yeah, no. Cause if everyone doesn't watch the Celtics games, the TV ratings will go so low that they'll have to move to a different location. Like Boston will probably the Celtics would have to relocate to like Seattle. Nope. The and Seattle that would know, be Seattle they make, Celtics. They make a lot of their money, and especially now with COVID, they make it from contract deals with networks that are already set. So that game specific, specifically, no, because think about it: they have to pay you no matter what. They just get paid to 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 show the ads. Okay, well, if we don't show up to the games, the players are going to be feel going to feel really bad, and they're going to want to move no, away. No, they're not. They're making, traded from yeah. the Celtics. They're making yeah, totally. they're making like, millions of dollars a year. I don't I don't think they one feel of the, too bad. one of the reasons why Gordon Hayward came to the Celtics is because the fan base is so strong. Hmm. If, okay, if, that's, if, that's a... if me, you, and Daniel weren't so supportive, or everyone else, then so I won. Fans... So I have won the finals every year since I was born. You. Yes. I've won the finals. We, sorry, we have won the finals every year since, uh, since um, 2003, since I've been born. No, not necessarily. Exactly. No, I'm part of the fan base, basically part of the team. Exactly. So you can say we. Yeah, no, but then I've won every. So I'm a, a how many time NBA champion? I'm a 17 time NBA champion, 16. Yeah. Because the finals. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna argue. You're right. Really? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna go um, buy more happy balls to compensate. <laughs> yeah. But here's the thing: the Celtics, regardless of whether I'm a part of the organization or not, I genuinely think they are going to be in the championship, if not win the championship. I can see that too, but the Milwaukee Bucks and the Toronto Raptors are both very good teams. Giannis might be the future goat. We've been doing pretty well against the Raptors, though. Yeah, That's they true. have. Been. They That's killed true. them when it was sorry. Like, they, yeah. yeah, they killed them. The Celtics killed the Raptors. That was a big game for them. That was like a turnaround point game. Yeah. yeah. Although it's tough that Hayward's out though. Yeah, and it also it is the Bucks and the Refs versus Celtics if that's how the series is. Well, it's the Buffs, the Bucks and the Refs and Bleacher Report and ESPN. Uh, they all love Giannis. That's also why I hate Zion. Cause... No, I, Zion deserves it. He's great. No, if he's I was not. Tall, I'm, I've said this before, but if I was as tall as Giannis, I would be better than him. Really? He's not that he really isn't that good. He's not you. You could stop him now. I could stop him now. Like you mean, James Harden said, anybody can run and jump. You're you're a pretty tall guy, <laughs> Daniel. Daniel, you're a pretty tall guy. How tall are you? Five nine. Okay, and how tall is Giannis? Uh, seven feet six. Yeah. six eleven seven six feet. 11. Yeah. All right, he would dunk over you without jumping. Yeah, but anybody can run and jump. Like, that doesn't take any skill. He's just blessed through biology. Yeah, I guess. I guess blessed through genetics. But like, like, James Harden is, he is pure practice. Like, his whole game is skill. Steph Curry is skill. You know that James Harden, this is an actual t- statistic, shoots worse in places where there's more strip clubs per what per person, whatever, in the city. The more strip clubs there are, the worse what? that he shoots. I believe so it. what places? I know. Like, so I in New York, he's like historically like a terrible shooter because there's New so York? many strip clubs. Yeah. 
Oh. Because there's so many strip clubs. Because he Any loves to go to Yes, there is, because he loves to go to strip like he always like kills the Raptors. Oh, I see. Because in Toronto, there's a the there was that law that they passed. Yeah. In seventy three. Really? Strip club law. I don't think that's what it was. Is there there's, there's, there shall be no strip clubs within ten miles of the basketball that's... arena. Really? That is right. Yeah. No, I, I, that's crazy. That's a that's a totally amazing fact that you just yeah, made it's up. True. Yeah. Mayor of Toronto. Mr. Toronto actually made it up. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I, I want to go to Quebec or Montreal. I don't know the provinces. Um, yeah. Quebec. Quebec. It's like the it's like France, but in Canada. Yeah, it is P- pretty much. Benson, do you take French? I used to. Is it useful? Um, I guess if you want to live in France or want to pursue French, yeah. A, but I saw this uh, meme the other day. You know what seal is in uh, French? Like the animal seal. Is it oh, seal? No, it's it's a swear word in English. So oh, I was wow. thinking if I would take French next year, I'd ask my teacher what does seal mean in French. <laughs> I can do that. I don't even have to take French. I can just walk by. Maybe in Spanish, it's also a swear word, seal. It's probably like, um, I don't know. I don't know enough Spanish. I'm, I'm decent at Spanish, but like, I could be better. Yeah. Do you guys want... always room for improvement. Do you guys watch hockey or fall hockey? I only watch it when we're in the championship. Yeah, I only watch the Bruins in like game seven. I didn't even watch game seven last year. Really? Yeah. Uh, It's like a major four. I I don't even follow football anymore. I only follow the Celtics. Really? Yeah. I mean, I kind of follow football, but I'm not that into the Patriots games. Like if it's on TV, I'd rather play video games. Yeah. Yeah, I feel that. Not for the Celtics no, though. I like I like football for the fantasy aspect. Like yeah. fantasy basketball, I can't I can't keep track of. It's too many moving parts. Mm-hmm. Yeah, fantasy, fantasy football. Yeah, it's good. Uh-huh. The thing about football though, I saw this statistic: only about nine minutes of the game is actually like full on action. Like the rest is commercials, you know, timeouts, running clock. So that kind of spoils the game. You're sitting there for like two to three hours. It's just commercials, running clock, timeouts, you know, because every snap is only like maybe like, like five, five seconds, seconds yeah, yeah, each play. Yeah. And then it's like 30 seconds of running clock. So, yeah, I don't know. But at the same time, like, if you're like a lineman, like, you're going at it for like. Yeah, it's so difficult for how mm-hmm. short it is. Like, yeah. Like, it's, it's an intense nine minutes. It's like a uh, nine minutes. Another thing, if I, if I was as big as Vince Wilfork, I'd be better. You'd be better. Yeah. What about it's? You? It's just genetic. Like some of the. It's just like the lineman. Like what's his name? That that guy from the um, Jeff Saturday. He's just big. Today's Wednesday. You know, lineman actually. Yeah. Lineman, they're really big, but they actually move their feet really well. Oh yeah. Like they're it's kind of crazy. Yeah, they're He's super crazy. athletic, and that's why a lot of linemen you see them like lose a bunch of weight after they like. Retire. retire or gain a lot depending on well most anyway, lose mostly lose it because like they're so athletic and they work out so much that they can and they just stop eating like six thousand calories a day or something yeah. stupid like the that. weight is honestly uh unhealthy it is but that it that's why they lose it a, a yeah. lot of people lose it i think the best diet is probably like a buzkashi diet Oh, Buzkashi and his Kanto type diet. Daniel coming oh. in with the Buzkashi. Yeah, you didn't expect it. No, I didn't. I was gonna find a way to work it in there, but I, <laughs> and now I don't have to. Well, of course, the Buzkashi diet is. Uh, do I need to go into it or do, do you? You just—it's just, it's just animals. They only eat animals. Nothing else. Yeah. A lot of red meat. Mm-hmm. A lot of dead game balls. Dead game. Yeah. Game yeah. Balls. Just like Tom Brady. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what that means. Um, screw Brady. Should we I'm say okay. hi to our listeners from Ireland? Or where was it? Ireland? Ireland, yeah. Ireland. What's up? How's hey it guys. going? I'm um, waving to you. Yeah. That we, way got a, we got a $10 Facebook credit to spread our, our Blancast Facebook page if you haven't yet followed it. Um, 
And I'm thinking about only targeting targeting people in Ireland for our ads. What do you guys think yeah. about that? Yeah, yeah, because we have a lot of experience with Irish culture. Um, of course, we connect we to them very well. I have a fr- really I have well. a I have a friend that's Irish, and I'm a quarter Irish, so I I a quarter know what what's up there. Exactly. I don't think that's how that works, but exactly. No, it, no, it is. But I have a friend, so I no, know well, exactly what's going on. That's like really hurting my feelings. Okay, well, I'm gonna hurt your feelings some more because I'm gonna argue with you and tell you you're wrong and I'm right. Well, the moral of the story is, um, I got <laughs> new cereal the other day. Ooh, kashi, that's... and you guys had kashi. Oh, there. That cereal. stuff is not bad. It's healthy too, right? It is. I I've kind of stopped eating unhealthy cereal, which is crazy. And that used to be my thing. I love that stuff. The only cereal I eat is Frosted Flakes. Frosted Flakes like is the, the only, best cereal. The only cereal. Like, literally, I don't eat anything else. I I don't eat breakfast. I just... <laughs> Not I just I, yeah. So, so just kind of lunch. I does eat, that mean that you don't eat anything in the morning or you don't eat breakfast? Well, in the school year, what I used to do sometimes, and by sometimes I mean, like... I'd say once or twice a week is I would I would eat like a bag of pretzels, like have some pretzels. Of course, yeah, the classic Louis bag of pretzels. Yes. Louis oh yeah, what? I used to have it every day in middle school. I had it every single day for like three years, and that was on top of breakfast. That's tough. Yeah. So by nine, I had a granola bar, two cookies, a bag of pretzels, and my breakfast already in me, and I was just there. We go. And I was Marked in deep, out. and I was in deep lock. <laughs> carved out carved okay. out yeah so now now i don't eat anything until like one or two and then i have a small lunch and then i have big dinner and that's it solid solid nothing can beat a, a crisp banana though a banana I'm... with like little to no brown yeah it's almost crunchy oh my god that is phenomenal like it just turned yellow and it might yes. have a little green I fully agree, Benson. And, and like the peel is like it it almost doesn't come off too easy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. And then when you open it, somebody rings your door and they say, Is that a f- I don't know where I'm going with this. Louie, you had a question. Yeah, when I eat I don't even bite into the banana. I just I just like All at once? Yeah, all at once. I'm not gonna say thing. anything more, but all at once. It just goes right down my throat. Oh, uh, anyway, Louie, what was your question? I had a question before, but now I want to talk to Benson about his eating habits. No, 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 no. I don't oh. chew the banana. I just... <laughs> you just, <laughs> that's even no, worse. Is there a video, have you seen that video of the guy who like swallows the hot dogs and then he like brings I, them back? I think you're thinking of a different yeah. website. No, Louie. Oh like, my. Um, what's the, what was your thing? What did you have to say? Uh, oh, I don't like bananas. What? what? No. Do you like banana bread? bread? Sorry, that was mean. Yeah, I, I like I like bananas. No, no, no. It is it's it's very uh, it's an accurate statement that Daniel made. It's, it's what's wrong with you? Yeah. Oh, so you you like resent it? Like you wish you liked bananas? Oh yeah, no, totally. I I, I the texture. I don't know why. I just cannot get over it. Hmm. It's the only bananas are fruit. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah, no, bananas are a fruit. Yeah. yeah, it's the only fruit that I like. Literally can't eat because it's like, oh my god, the texture. I don't even know why. I just hate it. What is your favorite fruits? Apple. Oh, great, great. I like grapes better, actually. I take tell me one. right now. Watermelon isn't the perfect fruit. I don't yeah. like the seeds. But other than that, I love watermelon. Sometimes it can get a little, like, sandpapery, but when it's, like, crisp... Good watermelon. Good watermelon, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's easy to mess up if the chef is bad. The the grower, the farmer. the chef. If the watermelon... The refrigerator. If the watermelon right out of the refrigerator is delicious. Oh, my God. The one thing I don't like about watermelon, though, is sometimes it doesn't taste like anything. You know what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't have like the the sugar. Yeah. <laughs> the, the best, the best of all fruits, those durian. Ooh, Ooh. durian. That's and I think you turned me on to durian. You I, actually? I don't think I, probably, yeah. You What's actually durian? like it? No, I don't like durian at 
don't want yeah it. no one uh, no one likes durian it's kind of skanky wasn't, but, um, wasn't that not a fruit that not, isn't legume yeah it goes back um, almonds yeah, goes. almonds almonds oh cashews are a fruit cashew apples bet you didn't know that cashew apples I like my nuts uh, with my bananas. I eat them the same way. <laughs> nuts and bananas. That's like... <laughs> nuts and bananas. Um, I don't think... Ten... <laughs> no, I just, I'm not going to acknowledge it. Uh... <laughs> yeah. We, we um, might, th- there might be a cut right here where we just like... No, I think, I think the episode's going fine. I think we can keep it. Okay, um, yeah. Good morning. Say. Yeah, good morning. We're we're recording this at six a.m. Mm-hmm. We're all early risers. Yeah, rise yeah. and grind, baby. Oh wait, I'm in L.A., so it's actually three. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because you're you're with your manager, right? Oh yeah, right. We're we're discussing all the money that I'm making from this podcast and how much I can literally have so much money I can't spend it efficiently enough. What is it going towards? Balls. Like those fidgety ones. Oh yeah, you know, I'm, I'm just, I'm just, yeah, no, yeah, I'm stocking I'm, up. Yeah, I'm stocking up. Going for that one zero 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 zero. One. That's one e, million. E ten. Mm, yeah, like yeah, yeah, no, yeah. like like E fifty. E fifty. Yeah. No. Yeah, <laughs> they're really working hard in like wherever they manufacture these balls, just to like. Jeez, I feel like it's Iowa. <laughs> I feel like it's um, probably what they do in Iowa. What about what if it's in like, like, what if it's in like Poland? Like, what are they doing in Poland right now? Probably nothing important. That no, they're they're. I don't know. If, I don't know about that. They're probably uh, defeating the pandemic. Yeah. Yeah. Let, what, let, let me rephrase. They're probably not doing something as important as manufacturing these balls for me. Um. Is that worse? I think our priorities are mixed up. Uh, oh hey, well, you, know, you mentioned a good thing, Benson. Beating the pandemic. I'd like to note that all of our podcasts, even though the sound quality is just amazing, and you're you know you're probably listening to this, you're saying, "Oh my god, these guys they're probably like the best audio technicians, and they have the best mics." We best don't. editor. The best editor. Well, <laughs> toot toot. Um, but we don't. We've been filming these from, or recording these from our homes, socially distanced, as you should be doing if you have a podcast or uh, any other obligation as well. And that's not to say don't go outside. Louie can tell you a little bit about going outside. Louie? Yeah. So here's the thing. The sun is like really deadly right now if you go outside you there's like a 0.1 percent chance you're gonna get struck by lightning it doesn't oh that's not i no, i wasn't that's not what i anticipated what'd you anticipate i was thinking you were gonna say like the sun is really good and you yeah vitamin D. oh i'm like it's well, that's a 0.1 percent chance the other 99 percent of the time you have a great time you get a tan which is awesome go sun Team, Go sun. Team Suns. Team sun. By the way, can we can we get a moment of silence for the Suns? Because they Phoenix, the Phoenix Suns. Yeah, I was. Hey, they didn't deserve that. Now Portland's getting their booty smacked by. They did well for a while. For a game. For a while. For a game. A game for is a, a while, while for Portland. For one game. Lou, it was a while. Daniel, it was one game. All right. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Well, listen. Portland versus Celtics, Celtics in five. In the five. NBA championship. Yeah. The NBA, the finals. The finals. I have, I still have, um, I still have Pacers, uh, I still have Pacers, Blazers in the finals. By the way, Damian Lillard, that's an example of skill. Like, he's tall, but not as tall as, like, the tallest players in the NBA, but he still dominates. That's skill. Giannis is just big. No. Giannis, Giannis, though, like in basketball, you have to make a lot of like split second decisions that you have yeah. to, pr- you have to practice those. And I think, wait, you're kidding about Giannis, right? No, I'm dead serious. You're dead serious? Jokic, Jokic is a good example skill. of skill. Yeah. 
like Boban, that's just height. Giannis has shows. Giannis has a lot of good moves at the rim, like spin moves, zero steps. Yeah, but at the same time, if I was as tall as him, just imagine. Can we just imagine for a second? Everybody close your eyes. And I know that you can't see me, or maybe you've never seen me if you're from Ireland. Um, But imagine that I'm seven feet tall. My voice um, and my personality. And now imagine that I'm just jacked. And I'm just, I have the ball and I'm running as fast as I can with eyes full of hate right at Giannis, ready to slam it on his face. Who wins in that battle? Giannis, no doubt. Well, someday we'll do an episode with Giannis and we'll debate. Well, before that, we're doing. You know who's going to stop Giannis in the conference finals? Who? Ennis Cantor. No, he's gonna destroy. Ennis Cantor actually has a lot of skill. He does. Close to the basket, he's a beast. Daniel, do you want to do your Ennis check? Uh, I'm not gonna edit it, but I'll make a noise. I'll do like a woo. Oh, I thought you were gonna be like Ennis check. Oh, never mind. Ennis, Ennis check. My voice is kind of gone. Ah, uh, Ennis check. That was yeah, good. That was pretty good. I was gonna say he actually had a great series. Yeah. Yeah, against the. Uh, Against the, how do uh, Philadelphia seventy yeah. losers? Oh, you just roasted them. Seventy sucksers. Oh, Louie, that was man. Um, <laughs> <laughs> any updates in the life of Venice or in the world of Venice? Um, I think he's still continuing to get threats. By yeah, the, he's uh, getting so many Turkish threats, government. and yeah. the Turkish uh, government, like I guess, controls and censors the TV. And they're playing literally every NBA game except for the Celtics ones. <laughs> yeah, not even kidding. Their national TV schedule is literally every other team in the bubble except for the Celtics. What's, what's going to happen at the finals? It's just going to be like, oh, it ended. There was a Western Conference final. I know, right? Yeah. Uh, what else? I think. Um, they should be happy for Amos. He's like representing the country. I don't think he would play for a Turkish national team, I'm going to be honest. No, he definitely would not. Well, maybe under. No, he loves his country. Change. He just doesn't like the dictator. Yeah, or he long. loves his country. He doesn't like his dictator. Ooh, we have four minutes left in this. Oh man, should we direct it away from Turkey? Yeah, are we? Is it? Is it? We can do another minute and then final thoughts, final lessons, takeaways, experiences that have happened betwixt us in this. 35 minute uh, uh, exchange of ideas and thoughts, profound saga. ideas and thoughts. Saga. There we go. That's a big word. Well, saga implies that it's part of a series. Shut up, like man. Okay. Shut up. Uh, where, do you think, where do you guys think Lionel Messi? Leon Messi. I think he's going with the Warriors. <laughs> He's going to the New England Revolution. That'd yeah, be, that'd be crazy. That would be sick. He might be the best player in league history by a long shot. He's like the best player in soccer history. Right. Yeah. Ibrahim, with like Pele and Ronaldo, like they're all. Yeah. I don't know. It's hard to compare, but he's so dominant. I'm an Ibrahimovic type of guy. I like the emotion. Yeah. Yeah. Soccer. It's hard to say, like, I can't make the Giannis argument for soccer. Why? That's literally. Oh, actually, no, I've never played I don't soccer. think so. I think soccer is like skill. You're saying basketball isn't? Dude, with basketball, if you're seven feet tall, all I have to do is just put my arm up and just dunk it on your face. There's another seven foot person right there that's also trying to do that. No. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> yep. Nope. No, not you're the, in my, not, no. So, so if you strictly play people smaller than you, I guess. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm playing in like YMCA leagues. But you're seven feet. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Honestly, that's that's a good life plan. Like if 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 you can't really find a business, just hustle people. <laughs> Get shin extensions. That's a weird. That was a real crowd. Sentence. Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> Dame Lillard for I w- three. I, w- I, w- I was thinking of things to say after that. But. 
Shin extensions. Come on, man. I think the only thing I could really if do. If you had to extend one. No, no. Stop. Uh, never mind. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we can't answer that question, honestly. I would actually, actually, I would rather have longer arms. I already have pretty long arms, but I wish I had longer arms. I feel like to a point, though, they just don't help you. Like, it's it's almost an impediment. Well, maybe in basketball. It's yeah. You as no, you but if they're like, so long, you don't, like, you, imagine if trying to, like, lift weights. Just imagine. Bend your elbows. No, but how long are we talking? Daniel, <laughs> Daniel, I think it's clear who is the intellectual in this <laughs> conversation. Okay, and it's how, not... just how. Give me a sense of how long. That's all I want to know. I don't know, like, like three times my height. Well, we have less than a minute, so let's all let's all just uh... wait. That's actually like fifteen feet, more than fifteen feet. <laughs> all right, um, I'm gonna say the thing I learned today is to never give up. Really? You learned that from this yeah, podcast? Never, never give up. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Never give up. Benson? I didn't learn anything today. I completely forgot. There we go. We am proud. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We am proud. I learned today that when, despite all things that may arise against us, we will continue to mention Booz Kashi. Let's go. In every single Dude, oh, one thing we need Ennis Cantor by episode eleven. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We're on an How, episode. However long it takes, maybe we'll wait a few years for episode eleven to come out. But uh, yeah, Ennis, come we, on, buddy. We can skip over from ten to twelve, so that if we ever get him, <laughs> revisit episode eleven. Yeah, I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding either. Okay. Well, um, now I don't like it. Well, where do they need to follow us, guys? Oh, on Instagram, if you'd like to, Facebook, YouTube. Follow me in real life. I live at... Uh, no. Yeah. <laughs> thanks for listening. Oh, the Zoom meeting ended. Well, anyway, thanks for listening to this episode of The Blindcast. Uh, see you next time. Bye, guys. And the noise for people that want it.